So today I have an awesome video for you guys. We're gonna be testing out a new hero. That's right ladies and gentlemen, a new hero is coming to Smashing 4 and we're gonna be testing out 2A thanks to the team giving me early access. We're gonna be using the hero Jawsome. Um, we're going to see what's his, gonna be his attack power at level 9, his health at level 9. Of course we're going to be able to see his ability at level 9 and see what he does. This is going to be awesome. My name is 2Mike and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And here we go ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be testing out the hero Jawsome with <laughs> with Prono, which is an awesome person in the Smashing 4 community. This person has given me so much access and it's just a lot of fun to be able to do it. And ooh, look at the ability. If you didn't see, he attracts troops to him dealing damage. So he does damage if the troops are near him. Okay. Okay, not too bad. So let's see what he does at level 9. 489, so he is pretty tanky. Um, and does 51 damage, so he does about the same damage as a priest and whatnot. So let's just use him right now. Just hit the giant, and it should be able to hit the giant with his ability. It did, look at that. And it did extra damage to him. Okay, so the Jawsome, it looks pretty sick. Not gonna lie, he looks a lot of fun to use. He just attracted the mice by the dealing damage. Golly. Um, we'll just double hit the the Jossum right there he should be dead and also taking out his giant and his golem okay this Jossum looks looks pretty interesting looks pretty interesting ladies and gentlemen okay so so all we got to do is let's see if Jossum is still available he is still uh, alive so let's see if we can push the champion towards Jossum so that way we can deal extra damage to him to the champion oh no never mind Never mind, that did not work out. Alright, so now let's see if we can win this match because um Jossum is going to die no matter what happens. So there's that. Even with the triple kill, we can still lose. This is probably not the best deck to use, and this is the first time me actually using Jossum. And of course, pretty much everybody else's first time. Like we're using Jawsome for the first time today just to see if there's going to be any bugs and whatnot. Just to test them out and see if there's something that it needs to be fixed before it releases to everybody else in the world that's of course playing this game. So this is why we're doing this today. And of course they gave me permission to record this video for you guys so you can see how does the hero work. And right now, I the, the hero, it looks like it's a lot of fun. Very, very tanky. One of the tankiest heroes in the game that does uh, splash damage, as you could say, and then brings heroes to himself, dealing that extra damage. It looks pretty interesting. It really does look pretty interesting. Now, let me switch up the decks, and let's see if we can find somebody else to play uh, to play with. All right, we're back in it to finding another match. We are facing Pronok, the same person as last time. I switched up decks to see if this if this combination will work. I th he's using a similar deck. Yeah, I think he is using a similar deck. But yeah, guys, I'm just testing out different decks to see to see if there's gonna be any bugs because right now we did apparently a person did find a bug right now with the with the with Jossum. So here we are. We're gonna be testing it out to see. If there's gonna be a problem with using this deck of any kind, sadly we cannot use it, the Jossum's ability, but that's okay. Honestly, Jossum looks very goofy, not gonna lie. He looks kinda goofy, but <laughs> it's just awesome to, to just have another hero. So let's try to multi-hit Jossum, also hitting the champion. And the ability did go towards the, the golem, that's good. He is going to hit my Jawsome. The ability did hit my... Okay, the ability did hit my Jawsome. So that's that's not good. Let's hit the champion towards the... The thingy. And the ability should hit the champion. And it did take out the champion. Okay, okay. We're making some plays here. We are making some plays. 
He is going to hit my sorceress. That is totally fine. Let's, um, I guess we can do this. Just hit all these three. Oh, yes. Yes, we were actually able to hit all three of them. And the golem is dead. So now two troops, Jossum and the Giant. We should be okay, even though all four of my troops are very weak. Um, but we'll see what we uh, we'll see what what happens. Okay, okay, not too shabby. The golem is out of range. That's good. So let's just hit both of these guys. I we might miss, but we'll try to hit both of these guys. We might miss the giant. No, we actually did hit the giant, and the Jossum should get hit with the golem's ability. And there you go. Alright, so, yeah, we should be good, should be good. Let's try to double hit Jossum here. Let's see. Ah, we could not double hit. We could not double hit, but the giant is dead, and Jossum is getting very weak there. We should be able to take him out right now. Yeah, we'll definitely take him out right now. We, all we need is one hit, and if not, then a hit and a tremor hit should be enough to take him out right here. Yep, there you go. It was enough to take him out, and we won another game with Pronok. <laughs> Pronok is such an awesome guy, guys. If you don't see the Smashing TV on Facebook, if you do have Facebook, of course, go check it out. It's gonna There's going to be one tomorrow. Well, when I'm recording this video, it's going to be Thursday, 10 o'clock a.m. EST. So, now I'm going to be switching another deck, so I'll be right back. Here we are finding another match. It is a person named Training Bot. We'll see. We'll see what we can do here. Right now, I'm using this deck to see if there's going to be any mis any bugs or mistakes when it comes to Jossum. Like, for example, can um, Jossum get the buff from the Warlord? And if Jossum dies, can Puppet Master be make him become a puppet? Right now, that's what I'm trying to figure out. So, let's see if that can happen. Warlord gets the buff. We'll just push the champion towards Jossum. Hit the Sentinel as well. The ability shouldn't, sadly will not hit anybody, but that is totally fine. So, Jossum is going to just hit my Jossum, okay? Nice little double hit right there. Not too bad. And his ability, wow, his ability did a lot of damage to me. Let's just hit Jossum towards my champion. There you go. Sadly, my Jossum is not doing his ability, but that's totally fine. Um. Okay, so this is something to think about as well. Whenever his, whenever my champion gets gets to use his ability, if it lands near Jossum, will he be able to use his ability? That's a question that we should ask ourselves. Oh, he uses it at the same time. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that, but. Um, I'll ask the team to see what, what, what they think about. I'll ask the team and see. So, let's see. Ouch, okay, that, that kind of hurts. Like, that, that hurts, that hurts. So, I guess we'll hit... Who should we hit? We'll hit, I guess, the champion right here. Let's see if we can go down and hit the sentinel as well. And try to use the ability. And will that be able to use the ability? It did not. Yeah, it's not close enough. Oh, well. Is he going to try to quadruple? No, he's going to take out my Puppet Master. Okay. He missed the Puppet Master? Interesting. So let's let's go after the Sentinel. Hopefully the, the Warlord does go up and hit the Champion. It does. Let's go with the plays that I am making, ladies and gentlemen. This is awesome. All right, so it's just up to the Sentinel. He should definitely take on my Puppet Master now. Let's see. He missed the Puppet Master again. Golly. All right, let's see if we can push the Puppet Master towards Jossum so that way he can use his ability. There you go. Wow, so buffed, buffed up um, Jossum is going to be dangerous because he brings them to them, dealing damage and also... He does his base damage. So, that is something to think about. That is honestly something to think about. We just almost lost this match. Jossum... Oh, sorry about the notification. Let me give her to that. We barely won. We barely won. Jossum survived with 30 health. He is a very tanky hero. If it wasn't for him becoming tanky, um, we, we, we would have definitely lost that one. So, we're going to be finding another match. So, I'll be right back. 
And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, with another match. I'm using the same deck to see if we can find the bugs that I mentioned, but the thing is, like, like the, the, the Jossum did not become a puppet. He was the last one alive. Oh, look at that ability, though. That was really nice. Just, have, just having all uh, most of the troops in that bubble, just it's going to work out super, super well. So he's going to hit both of them, and thankfully his ability will not work on anyone because they're too far away. My Jossum also uh, got the ability again. Let's see if we can double hit that druid and then hit the champion. We actually hit all four troops. I am not mad about that. And Jossum dealing over 100 damage because of the Warlord's buff. That is awesome. Oh, his ability uh, got my got my champion. That's not good. Jossum got the, the Warlord's buff three times. What is happening? So let's do this. All three troops and then the buff or the ability. All right, so. Okay, so I see the problem there. So since the champions and the Jossum's ability work at the same time, Whenever troops end up near Jossum, whenever the, the, the champion's ability goes off, it will not work. So that's something that I notice. I may I may just notice, oh, not notice, I may just tell the team to see if they can do something about it or if that's the way it's supposed to happen, you know? So, okay. Alright, so Jossum is pretty good. It is, he is pretty good. Um, especially if you get troops landing near him. He works kind of like the giant, kind of like the giant. But right now, right now he's pretty good. Jossum, um, Jossum might need a nerf, not gonna lie. Because he does a lot of damage whenever troops are near him. And that's something to think about, you know. And Jossum, he is one of the tankiest heroes in the game. Not in the top four, but he is still pretty tanky with 489. That That is pretty, pretty tanky. But there you go, guys, with another win. Uh, I'm probably going to switch decks right now, so I'll be right back. We are back at it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be using a different deck, you know, just testing him out with different decks to see what works best. And, of course, if we can find any bugs, if there needs to be reported. So, let's just hit... We can try to double hit the cultist, I guess. So, let's do that. There we go. Triple hit the cultist, and the ability should go off on the skeleton. So... Pretty good start, and the ability of the Jossum hit the Puppet Master because he was close enough. So, off to a decent start. My Ice Queen goes next, so she is going to be dealing a good amount of damage to all, all four troops. So, we are going to see if... Ooh, look at this. Can we push the Cultist towards his Jossum? And then my Cultist will be dealing damage to his Jossum and his Puppet Master. Yes, there you go. The ability... Okay, okay, so I wanted to see that too. So the Jocelyn's ability goes first, then the cultist. Okay, I just wanted to see that. Pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that is intentional. So okay, so the werewolf did take a serious amount of damage there. Look at that, so much damage. We gotta we gotta take advantage of the werewolf's ability since she is a werewolf right now. So we'll do that. We should be able to take out Jocelyn right there. We did. We just took out Jocelyn. Not pretty good. Pretty good. Um, he's definitely gonna go after my werewolf. No, he's going to buff up his puppet. Okay. Okay. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Let's. Uh, can we? We're gonna have to go around here and deal damage to his skeleton. We missed the cultist though. Okay. So we just took out his puppet master. That's great. I wanted to hit the cultist, but you know what? Hitting the puppet master and the skeleton is actually works even better. He's going to take on my werewolf now and Jossum, it seems like. Um, Jossum is still alive with 17 health. Okay. So let's just deal, do damage to the skeleton and the cultist right here. And yep, that's game. That is game. All right. So a pretty good, pretty good combination there with the Ice Queen and the cultist. Honestly, it, it works very well. It works very good. Uh, let me test out another um, another combination of decks, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're going to play one last match. We're going to see um, if if the Giant's ability will work with the with um, with Jossum. Or, or if it goes first but then misses, you know, like it, 
like like right now there's some discussions going on with Jawsome and the champion's ability going off at the same time, making um Jawsome's ability honestly pretty much useless. But um but I believe you know both troops goes off at the same time, so that's what happens. But um, we're going to see if we can make Jawsome and the Giant go together and see what happens if both ability goes off at the same time or if the Giant's ability actually does go off at the same time. Uh, so just do this. And let's see. Let's see what happens with the Warrior here. Okay, so Jawsome goes first, then the Giant. All right, so that's, that's, some, that's, a good, that's, that's something good to think about. So that is something good. So... With the giant, I don't think it's that good to have him unless you want to have a big space, a uh, big area cover, so that way you can deal damage at the end of your turn. Could be the giant or it could be the Jossum, whatever you think would be best. So let's just do this. So like, so like, if you have the giant uh, on top of the uh, on top of the arena and the Jossum at the, uh, the bottom of the arena, you can have so much cover, and you're gonna have you're gonna be dealing damage over time. Because they have to think of, you know, who to go after first. And, um, like, either the Giant or the Jawsome. And if they land either the top or the bottom part, they're going to get hit at the end of the turn. So that could be a good, um, a good card to have, the Giant. But it also could be a bad thing. You know, it's something to think about, you know? some Just something to think about. Let's see if we can hit the Warrior and hit the Trap. There you go. Oh, the Orc um, almost hitting the Trap, but I think... I think, I think both troops are at death's door right now, thanks to the warrior's ability. So that's obviously not good. That is not good at all. He is going to activate the trap. Interesting. He actually decided to go after the trap. Can the orc's ability go off here and hit the warrior? I don't know, honestly. Let's see. It did not. Um, Jawsome does have enough health. Does have enough health unless he gets a double hit. He is going to take out the Orc, okay. But if he gets a double hit on the Jawsome, that's it. We're going to lose. He got the double hit. Well played, man. Well played. GG's. That was a very that was a very good game at the end there. Um, but that's it, guys. Um, that's it for Jawsome. I'm going to stop playing for a bit. So um, that's it. going to be it for the video. What do you guys think of Jawsome? He is pretty good. I actually do believe that he needs a small nerf. Health nerf. Like, he is pretty tanky for what he does. Uh, but yeah, he looks he looks very goofy in the game. But honestly, he is just a very awesome card to have. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. Not exactly sure when is Jossum supposed to come out. I'll let you guys know whenever I have more information of him. I'm just glad to have this opportunity to show you guys um, Jossum. Um, and thank you to the Smashing 4 team for actually giving me this opportunity and just having fun with the card before it's even out to the public and just to show you guys what he can do. But guys, yep, if you guys have any recommendations you want to see, just let me know in the comments below. And I'll certainly do it for you guys. If you guys have any any comments about Jawsome, just throw it down there. I would love to hear your comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. And thanks again for your continued support, guys. I will see you in the next one. Take care.